Hey guys, welcome back to the Original Flavor Kitchen. We're back again with another amazing recipe. Today we're bringing you corn fritters using Ellen's tamarind sauce. Tamarind sauce and corn fritters, guys, you have to try this combination. It's so, so good. And guys, this video is in partnership with Caribbean Export and they're all about showcasing the best Caribbean products to the world, guys. It's straight from yard, straight to your kitchens, guys. So check the link in the description for more info on Ellen's sauces. Let's get cooking. Yeah. So firstly, for this recipe, you're gonna need some plant-based milk, any of your choice. Obviously some sweet corn, some garlic, oil for shallow frying, some baking powder, some all-purpose flour, one red bell pepper, scotch bonnet for that fire, two scallions, one onion, a tomato or tomato, however you want to call it, some pimento, grounded, some sea salt, and some black pepper. And most importantly, Ellen's tamarind sauce. Now we're all prepped up and ready to go. Let's get down to the flavor, bro. That's right, man. So we're gonna get some oil and we're gonna get a large pan. Get it into a nice heat. Get a little bit of oil in there, probably about a tablespoon and a half. And what we're gonna do here, guys, we're gonna saute all those lovely chopped, diced onions and bell peppers and get to a lovely soft saute. All right, guys, we're gonna throw in the onion, we're gonna throw in the garlic, and we're gonna get in some spring onions and the fiery scotch bonnet, guys. Yes, guys. It's dice, isn't it, bro? Yeah, dice. So yeah, we de-seeded it, guys. I'm using half a scotch bonnet here. Mm -hmm. So we're using red bell peppers. You can use any colour you want. Totally up to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally up to you. So these bell peppers are going to give you that sweetness mm. to complement that scotch bonnet spice. This is a key part, guys. What we're doing here is just sweating out these vegetables and we're going to finally add in the chopped, diced tomatoes. Tomatoes will give you that amazing flavour, mm. cool things down a bit, you know, it has a lot of water in tomatoes, yeah. give it a nice cool taste. We're not going to add the corn guys because the corn's already cooked. Yeah. So we're going to add that in to the flour mixture. Yes. And what you're doing here guys, it's probably take about five to seven minutes guys. You sweat it out, probably about five minutes because the vegetables are quite small. Now I'm going to go into the flour mixture here now guys. So I've got some all purpose flour. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, I'm going to sieve in the flour guys. This will help the, for a nice smooth texture for your batter. So just sieve in the flour. And now add in some baking powder, guys. So one teaspoon here. This will help the fritter to, to rise slightly. So it's giving that three-dimensional look <laughs> and that nice crunch as well. Trust me, it also makes it look bigger as well. So yep. when you're giving it to others, yep. Trust they'll, me. they'll be happy. Because they'll feel that it's a bigger fritter. Trust me. So just mix that in, guys. Now we're gonna add in some seasonings. So we're gonna add in yep, yep. some seasonings, some sea salt. Yep. Some black pepper. Some dry thyme in there. And some ground pimento. Mm -hmm. Give it that nice fiery flavor. Yes. That smoky taste. Just mix it around. And bro, we're gonna add in some of that amazing fresh veg. That's right. So just gonna add that in now to that straight from the pan. Mm. Lovely, delicious. We're going some corn as well, guys. This is some tin corn, but you can use some frozen corn. Yeah. Totally up to you. So this yeah. is 200, and, about 300 grams of corn. Going right in. I'm gonna go in with some plant-based milk, guys. You can use any plant-based milk of your choice. This is actually oat milk. I'm gonna mix it in. Incorporate the flour, all those flavors. Mm -hmm. That sweet corn as well. Guys, look at that color. Look at the color. Looks so vibrant. That caramel, caramelization of, of those veg, you can smell it. You use water most of the time in normal fritters, but we're using plant-based milk because it just gives it that extra fluffiness in the fritters. And trust me, when you eat it, it's like you're floating on, on cloud, <laughs> on cloud nine. Look at the consistency, guys. So. so this is the consistency that you need, guys. Slowly being able to pour it from your spoon, filled with all those vegetables. All that flavour. That's right. Let's get into it, man. I'm right. hungry, bro. Yeah, Come I'm on, ready. man. I'm ready for these. Trust me. We're going to get in some more vegetable oil for a shallow fry this time. All right, we're going to get the oil hyping. Hot. Hot, hot like the Caribbean. Trust me. Yeah. Hotter than that. Trust me. You're going to need shades for this. A hot sun cream, everything. Yeah. Trust me, guys. Yeah. You're right. But real talk, we need to get really hot, bro. Yeah, Why is that? 
once it goes in guys it needs to be sizzling hot guys trust me it's so important because you do not want the fritters to go in and it's cold lukewarm yeah it's a waste of time it's literally like jumping in the swimming pool with the clothes on <laughs> like that's an abbreviation i can use guys yeah Trust me, you don't want to jump in the swimming pool with your clothes on, innit? It needs to be ready. You're ready. We're ready for the wah, you know? <laughs> Alright guys, so what we'd like to do, um, if you're not too sure if the oil is ready, just get a time sprig and just place it in there. If it's bubbling, then it's ready to go. Look at that. Definitely ready. Yeah. Definitely. Alright, so what we're going to do now, now guys, we're going to turn it down to a, a medium heat. Guys, so what you don't want to do is put it in and it just goes black. Mm. So it's already nice and hot. Yep. We'll turn it down to a medium heat, guys. Just get a lovely, generous spoonful. And what we're going to do Drop it is in. just drop it in, guys. Look at that. Mm. Absolutely wonderful, guys. Mm. So you can just do how you want to do it. No matter, it doesn't really matter the shape. As long as it gets in there, it's all good. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's right, bro. Just get that consistency down. Just yeah. let it drop. Let it? it drop. Just let it drop in it, and let the let the spoon do the work. Yeah. Don't worry about moving it around. Just mm -hmm. let your hand rest. Yes. It'll drop nicely. So right now, guys, you can see the corners of it is getting brown already because the heat from before, guys, was so hot that it's cooking it. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to always, there's literally, as soon as you put it in, turn it down. I'm going to turn it over, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice and golden brown. Beautiful. So the, the fire was so hot, guys, you see? After about two, three minutes, the goldenness is there. So what you need to do now is turn it over, and now it should cook at a more balanced heat. We've got plenty of, of batter here to feed, <laughs> feed everyone, Everybody. even the cameraman as well. <laughs> And also Kerry as well, our sister. You could even send it out to you guys. Yeah, man, post it. But yeah, this smells mm, tantalizing, it bro. It smells exceptional. It does. So good. I'm loving the colors as well. Red, the green, the yellow. And that corn just looks so vibrant. You can see yeah, through it. Yeah, you can. You can definitely see through it. So, guys, I can't wait to have this, these fritters with Ellen's, you know, mm. Caribbean tamarind barbecue sauce. Yeah. Because this is such a tangy, sweet flavor. Yeah. And it's got a hint of scotch bonnet as well. Mm -hmm. That just makes it finish it off yeah. so well. So yeah, guys, just making sure that you cook it either side until golden brown, depending on the fire of your, your hog. Yeah. It takes around maybe three, yeah. three to four minutes each side. And also as well, a tip guys, my brother's gonna do shortly, is basically just pierce the middle of the fritter. Cause this will help the fritter cook inside and help to cook evenly and not have that uncooked taste in the middle mm. and you don't want that. Right guys, so what I'm going to do here guys, this is my favourite part, look at the oil. Ooh, sizzling. It's still cooking. Look at that, still cooking. It's still sizzling. Still sizzling, still cooking. Absolutely wonderful, look at that. Mm. So we're using the paper towels here, this has helped to remove the excess oil. It's like an old school trick in it, like yes. back in the day, mum used to put Trust it in. Trust me, paper towels. In the paper towel. We can put in some more now guys. Yeah and then just repeat the process yeah. and you're done. Guys, these wow. corn fritters. Ooh. Wait, listen guys, these smell so good. Mm, I'll be jealous of me if I were you. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> because guys, I can't mm. wait to dive into this. Ooh, Ooh look at that guys. Look at that. The peppers, the corn, the scotch bullet, all there. Spring onions. I'm just going to get that in there, just dip it in. It's like the perfect combo, man. Mmm. Mmm. Let me try some of that as well. Give one on the floor. Mmm. Try it. Oh my, wow. Wow. Guys, oh! I'm going to get some more of that sauce. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So good. The sauce is really good. It's got that tangy flavour oh, wow. and that kick of spice as well and sweetness. Complements the fritters so well. Guys, you've got to try this at home. Mm. It's so easy and it's tasty as well. It is, guys. Guys, you'll absolutely love this one. So give it a go. Let us know what you think. And also, check out the description below to find out more about Ellen's tamarind barbecue sauce and purchase it for yourself. Yeah, man. Take care, guys. One love. Take